This week we are finally decorating for autumn. Yeah, it feels well timed because it's been freezing the last few days. Yeah, it's been freezing and sunny, so all the autumnal feels are yeah. happening right now. We're actually off on holiday tomorrow morning, so what I thought we could do today is get the house all nice and autumn -y. Yeah. And then when we get back from holiday, we can like submerse ourselves straight into... Mm. We need to get in the loft and get all of the stuff out. One thing we desperately need to do next year, guys, in this house is get a loft ladder because we have to bring a ladder into the house to get in the loft every time. And it's been like that for two years. We have to put like towels down on the floor because obviously the ladder is dirty because it's outside. Just saying, we definitely need to get a ladder in that loft this year. Yeah. I might as well get our suitcase out for holiday as well. Yeah. Up. You alright? Yeah. Don't put your foot through the ceiling. I think we've just got like a cushion and stuff in here. Autumn stuff secured. Let's see what we got. Got the cushions out of the loft. I actually forgot that we had this one, which I love. So really happy with that. And then we've got little pumpkin ones. Also got little ornaments to go out. So I feel like that'll be nice. I also did buy a couple of bits from B&M the other day, which we can add to the collection. I couldn't help myself. I think we should head out and try and get hold of some autumnal bedding because I really need to change the bedding anyway and I just feel like we need something maybe a bit warmer softer and a bit cozier on the bed so I'm hoping that Sainsbury's might have some I feel like they always do really good bedding I have a really nice like winter bedding set from there so I'm hoping that they do it if not, we can go and have a look in B&M. As you can see, our home is actually quite autumnal anyway. We really like like the burn orange and yellow kind of vibe in this house. So to be honest, autumn is like the best time of year in here. When it comes to Christmas, it's a different story because we have to get rid of loads of stuff. But for autumn, it's a vibe in here. I actually saw the girl that creates these prints on Etsy the other day does a pumpkin pie and an apple pie print and I was so tempted to order them but I refrained but that's not to say that I will continue to refrain so at some point you might see those prints change to something more autumnal but I just thought like pumpkin pie and those prints so nice especially in the kitchen right let's go to Sainsbury's and hopefully get some bedding. One thing that is so, so nice about this car is it has a heated steering wheel. That is my favorite, favorite, favorite thing about this car in the winter because there is nothing worse than freezing cold hands on the steering wheel, especially when it gets really cold. Okay, well, not very successful on the bedding from which is a bit annoying, but I did find this throw in there, which I absolutely fell in love with. It's really soft and we love a throw. And on the back, you can see, it just says that it's got like some little pumpkins on either side. So I don't know whether to just like put our normal bedding out and then put this on there or whether to put this in the living room and search for some bedding. But I actually have a nail appointment to get my nails done because obviously we're flying on holiday tomorrow. So I need to go and do that now. I'm not sure whether I'm going to have time to go and have a look in B&M for bedding. I did get myself a pair of slippers. I get myself a new pair every year. It's like my little autumn slash winter treat to get myself a new pair of slippers because I wear them so much that by the next year, they honestly look horrendous. Maybe I should just invest in some proper ones like Ugg ones or something, but I kind of like the ritual of getting myself a pair of slippers and I honestly do wear them to death. These ones that I found as well, I thought they were so cute because they have like the stitching around the edge oh, so soft i'm so excited to put them on tonight right i'm gonna go and get my nails i feel really weird because i kind of want to go and get autumn nails you know like the full-on wine or like a nice burnt orange or like a brown but because we're going to corfu tomorrow it feels kind of wrong to do that so i don't really know what color to go for i'm gonna chat to her and see what she thinks good evening we are just about <sighs> to what are we gonna do are we gonna Bake first, or are we gonna decorate first? Decorate first. Decorate first. Yeah. I'll tell you about baking when we get to it. What are we gonna do then, Chief? Decorate for autumn. Yeah? Yeah. Make it cozy. Like 
Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Right, so now we've got an autumnified house I mentioned baking and we're going to make pumpkin spiced banana bread muffins Went to Sainsbury's, got all the ingredients Joe's in his baking era I am, I am in my baking era Because you used to hate baking yeah, I was never a so big baking year, fan. But like this year, I've cooked m not more than you, but I've cooked more than I did last year. Yeah. And you've actually had a bit of baking. But I have only only baked banana bread. Yeah, you have it. And what are you baking today? Banana <laughs> bread. <laughs> you're scared to bake. But this it, is a different yeah. recipe. I had the same recipe before. Right. So you're gonna do the baking because <laughs> you're yeah, better. Yeah, I'll do the baking. Look at the glare from our TV screen. Sorry, guys. <laughs> We're gonna make. Pumpkin banana bread muffins. I'm very excited for this because I feel like our house is gonna smell yeah. pumpkin. They couldn't they didn't have any pumpkin spice in the shop though, which was annoying. Oh did they not? No, did so you, get, you can get like mixed spice. I've got oh yeah, I've got um ground all spice. Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie, pumpkin puree. Yeah, I've got um ground all spice and then we can just add like ginger, cinnamon, cinnamon. cloves, um nutmeg to it. Yeah. We've got nutmeg. We've got the recipe. We have actually got mixed festive favourite spice. Yeah, that's what I meant by mixed spice. Yeah, that's more like it. Mm. Smell that's that. from Christmas. That's more like it. Smell that. It smells so good. Smell it. So Give good. it a sniff. It feels so autumnal today. So, oh, I got autumnal nails, guys. I actually forgot to show you. I know I said I wasn't sure I was going to get autumnal nails, but when I got to the nail lady, she had new colours in just for autumn and she was like, I want to show you. And I was like, I can't not get the autumn colours. And this is called, I don't know if it's focusing, Park Lane. And I am obsessed. I'm actually really glad that I did this, even though we're going on holiday. I've got a lot of black outfits for holiday, so. Yeah, you're in your goth era. I'm, I'm in my bacon era and you're in your goth era. <laughs> yeah, I might take some right, so cardigan off. I'm actually warm. The, Ooh, they're called pumpkin laptop? spice banana muffins. Is your laptop touch screen? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, that's really cool. And they've got like crumble mixture on top of them. Ooh. So we're going to make that. So we're going to make the muffins and then you put the crumble mixture on top. So, do we need a bowl? That's what they're meant to look like. You'll see what they look like when we make them. Well, Beffa makes them. I'm not taking any bananas. Got those. They're literally about to go up. Don't. Canned pumpkin. We've got vegetable oil. We've got sunflower oil. Um, honey. Just got sugar. White granulated sugar or mm. cast sugar. Eggs. Very sorry about this lighting, guys. We're literally putting you on the window ledge because it's the only place that we can film today. It is actually really dark early now. We need to get our lights back out. I don't really need to write so much about this recipe by the way. They always right. do. Just press that, jump to recipe. Yeah, and I'm it'll take it you straight to it. Hey. Oh, there you go. Learn right. something Pumpkin new every spice day. banana muffins. Three ripe bananas. Oh. Has anyone else done any baking this autumn? Yeah, that's nice. Well, I see, every autumn I see like really nice looking like pumpkin recipes and yeah, spiced apple recipes. We, I was looking at a couple of apple spice muffins. One 15 ounce can of pumpkin puree. So I think that's the whole thing. Is that 15 ounces? Oh, we don't work in ounces, do we? Alexa, what is 15 amazing. ounces in grams? From what is in grams.com. Says it. Says it on there, 15. 15 ounces, so whole, whole shebang in there for me. Yes, then you want sir. half a cup of vegetable oil. oil, 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 oil. Half a cup of half, vegetable oil. Half a cup of vegetable oil. oil, oil. <laughs> That's a lot of oil oil. Do you really get the half a cup measure? That is a lot of oil oil, isn't it? Yeah, but oil makes it 
I don't want to say the word because some people hate it. Do you know the word? Gins again? Moist. Oh, the way you said Moist. that was so bad. Moist. Makes it moist. That's the worst I've ever heard it. Oh, <laughs> no. I love a moist cake. All right, let's get this pumpkin puree in. The whole thing, you're sure? Yeah? Yeah, that's what it says. We got the pumpkin puree out of Sainsbury's, by the way. If anyone's wondering where to get it. Yeah, not many places do that. No, not many. Tesco used to, but I don't know if they do it anymore. It was so hard to find. I was walking around for ages really? and it was next to the um, Mike and Ike's. Oh, yeah, American that, food. yeah, because pumpkin is American. Pumpkin you know, like, is American. Well, no, but I mean like the autumn stuff kind of comes from America, right? Yeah. And Fun so, fact though, we used to work on a pumpkin farm. Well, I didn't actually yeah, farm pumpkins, you did. <laughs> in Australia, guys. In not Australia. Just, not, in, not in the UK. News Label Co. Ah. Done these for us. And they've got first size labels. Not an ad, we spend a lot of money on Muse Label Co. because they do the best jobs. Yeah, check those out, they're so and nice. They're, like the quality is so good. Yeah, it is so good. You're gonna taste good. Oh my god, no, don't! Why are you doing this? <laughs> <laughs> How did you stop that? It's a squeezy oh one. Again. Can you do that with like milk and stuff? That honestly, if that goes in my head <laughs> before holiday, sticky head. So now we need three eggs. Really, I'm, I'm really got intrusive thoughts here. What? What's your intrusive thoughts? Oh, you're gonna <laughs> you know, crack it on my head. You know them videos where they go and they're like Don't. making and they go. <laughs> Not before holiday. I oh, literally, I washed my hair yesterday, ready for the airport. Three eggs. We've got three eggs left. <laughs> the eggs just fell off. Oh, it's close. These these eggs have got really delicate shells. Usually, I'm yeah, I thought the same. That's so weird. You said that as soon as you bash it, the the um, white starts coming out. Yeah. How weird that we both thought that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't tell that. <laughs> <laughs> Blunder number two. This this recipe says two and a half dozen. I said to Joe. Look how much there is. I said to Joe. Joe. Um, all of this flour. Jo, I mean, Joe, there's quite a lot of ingredients for this recipe. How many does it make? Because obviously I know like that's a lot of flour. And Joe looks at this is 30. Two and a half dozen. 30. So, so we're gonna be going to the airport trying to pop off all of our muffins tomorrow morning because we're leaving it at half three in the morning. Bloody hell, 30. I hope everyone's got We're room in their hand luggage. The neighbours. Jeez. <laughs> right, let's just crack on. How did you not check how many it made? Sorry, this is literally batch cooking. Yeah, it is, yeah. How let's are we going to cook these? We let's don't have do muffin tins. Well, oh no, we're going to have to freeze them. We literally them. get them turned up We just chuck the batter like, away. Muffins, lucky there's 15 people going. Yeah. Right. We're going to have to cook them in batches, aren't we? Be here all night cooking muffins. No, once the back, once the batter's done, we'll, we'll just be sitting down, won't that we? That has cracked me up. Alexa, how many is two and a half dozen? Here is an answer from an Alexa Answers contributor that I translated. Thirty. Two and a half dozen is equivalent to thirty units. Oh my god, I can't believe we're currently cooking thirty <laughs> right, muffins. Let's do it. Right, how much baking soda in that? I got baking soda. I got baking soda. <laughs> The way that you do things stresses me out. This is why I have to clean up Joe's mess, guys. It's been flying out of this thing. The muffin mixture is complete. Do you know the muffin man? Muffin man. <laughs> Does it taste good? Yeah. Yeah? Very uh, flowery. Needs to be cooked. <laughs> oh. All systems go. We're ready to now spend the next hour making 30 muffins. That's one ready. Should we get it in? All of that still left. <laughs> Let's get the 
the bun's in the oven. Set the timer. Alexa, set the timer for 19 minutes. First batch is out. Wow! They look so good. They do. The crumble toffee looks so cool. Mm. Oh, they smell good as they well. They smell good. We're going to need to get them out because we need to put yeah. them to the next batch in. After all that, we've actually just got two batches. Yeah. And there's barely any Pretty left, much. so that's fine. Two yeah, batches. Yeah, two batches. So that would be enough. Better than 30. 24. Good recipe. 24, yeah. And it, we're so excited to try them. I've had a bite out of one. Whoops. Have you? Joe, perform it. Was it nice? Yeah. Was it Lovely. actually? Yeah. yeah. Trust us to make a mountain of cupcakes before we go on holiday. Anyone want to go on holiday at 3am? <laughs> <laughs> it's the fact we're going on a summer holiday and we've made pumpkin muffins. This room feels so cozy. Yeah, now, it smells it? all autumnal. Feels like a really short lived video for us because we usually video the whole day. Yeah. But we've only done this evening. Sorry about this. One, I think in our head we were going to film more today, but we just ended up with meetings and stuff. And yeah. That's how the cookie crumbles. Got my got my new slips on though. Out with the old and with the new. Do you like them? Yeah, they're nice. Same what's as your the, old ones. No, what's the difference? There is actually a difference. Um, they've got the little bead in around the yeah, front. Yeah, citron. Cute, right? Yeah, lovely. I love them. They're comfy, warm. Cozy. We hope everyone has had a lovely start to their autumn, end to their summer, whichever way you yeah. want to say it. We've now been looking forward to this holiday for a while. I've got my exam out of the way, which if you watch the previous videos yeah. you'll know. I haven't got whether I passed it or not yet though, so we don't know that. No, we'll let you know in how, how long does it take? take it's like mid-October, so it'll be a while. Cross all um, your fingers guys for Joe to pass his exam. Yeah. But there's a lot of stuff going on at the minute, so we'll see you next week. And we'll have a good old fashioned catch up. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll do a longer video next week. Yeah. But thanks so much for decorating the house with us and cooking a mountain of pumpkin cookie. Yeah. I'm, I'm so tired, guys. That's <laughs> literally, I can't speak. Um, if you like the pumpkin, then give the video a like. <laughs> and if you want to come back to our channel, subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Peace.